Now, climbing a mountain is not the easiest of tasks. If you ask those who are keen on hiking and need a lot of strategy, resilience and patience. President Uhuru Kenyatta seems to be learning this mountainous lesson as he seeks to restore support in the central Kenya region. This weekend, he's set to meet with political leaders from the region at the Sagana State Lodge. But 41 leaders from the mountain region, allied to Deputy President William Ruto, are making his climb difficult. They've written an 11-page letter to the head of state, calling him out on different pertinent issues. Melita Oletengas details the storm in the mountain. President Uhuru Kenyatta has called for a meeting of leaders from central Kenya at the Sagana Lodge, the third of its kind. This as the president battles the loss of support in his home ground to his deputy William Ruto. Development issues, quelling political temperatures and drumming support for the Building Bridges Initiative report are top of the list. However, as the president seeks to put his house in order, various members of parliament allied to Deputy President William Ruto have dissenting voices on the meeting. In an 11-page letter, the 41 MPs have spoken their truth to power. The president, raising concerns enlisted in 11 points, terming it politics of deceit and betrayal. It reads in part, the new political turn in the conduct and practice of politics has therefore left us disappointed and outraged. Our people are honorable people whose lives and livelihoods are based on honesty and trust. The leaders have also addressed the president in regards to his handshake partner Raila Odinga. They say, and I quote, We must be direct and truthful to you. We cannot sell Raila Odinga in our region or indeed any other imposed presidential candidate. You blame the people of Mount Kenya region for being reluctant to accept the handshake and BBI. It's not their fault. The unsuccessful effort you made to persuade people and render Raila Odinga unacceptable in Mount Kenya cannot be undone. The leaders in their letter also raised concerns on the slower-than-desired development agenda, economic ruin in Mount Kenya, saying that the region is limping and groaning. They also raised the concern over the region's guaranteed minimum returns, possibly becoming another public relations stunt. They add that political persecution of leaders is a major factor in the disquiet in the Mount Kenya region, owing to the harassment and humiliation of political leaders who disagree with the head of state, using state agencies such as DCI, ESCC and KRA. The leaders also say the president's leadership is harboring the threat of violence owing to polarizing views. They have warned the president not to allow the country to slip into the dark space of political assassinations. They also decried his stand on tribes and leadership while he was in Mululu. Succession management and credible agents representing his views are also key concerns. However, the 41 MPs have not been invited to the meeting and they went ahead to say that most of the issues discussed in the previous Sagana meetings are yet to be addressed to their intended conclusion. There has been a lot of politics around the BBI and that's what we are trying to do is to help ourselves together to, to tone down our political, you know, perhaps uh, uh, perceptions and differences so that we can isolate the real issues that are supporting or helping our country. Leaders allied to President Kenyatta say the Tanga Tanga MPs betrayed the president despite the support he gave them directly or indirectly. The Sagana consultative meeting between the president and Mount Kenya leaders is expected to pave way for the BBI rallies through which the president is set to drum up support for BBI in the region. We are preparing BBI to take it to Mwananchi as per the timelines and we've agreed, we've even formed a committee, we have formed a county steering committee made up of all MPs and I mean all, so that whoever doesn't join will be out of his or her own option. The MPs ended their letter saying that the mountain will remain restless, dissatisfied and defiant and ultimately a full-blown revolt will be inevitable. Melita, 
Ole Tenges, NTV.